Today, we're announcing 2,342 new cases of the coronavirus. And when we say cases, these are people. These are 2,342 new Kentuckians infected with this virus. 2,342 of our neighbors, friends, people across this Commonwealth, people that could have been us infected with this virus. It's the third highest day that we've had and includes 274 kids. Brings our total number of cases now to 129,680. You know, it feels just the other day that we were <laughs> we were going over 10,000, and here we are at almost 130,000 cases. Positivity rate, now 8.29%. Now, we keep saying that this is the highest rate since uh, May, but remember in May, we didn't have the testing we have right now. This is a high positivity rate with an abundance of testing, which means that the virus is, is, uh, is at an all-time high. Uh, in its spread. Remember, more cases mean more hospitalization. Today, 1,311 Kentuckians in the hospital with COVID-19. That's up from uh, 1,274 yesterday. A couple more people in the ICU, 299, and 163 on a ventilator. That was 151 yesterday. All of those are uh, COVID-related. New cases by county. It's a really long list because, sadly, uh, there is uh, a lot of this virus. Jefferson County continues to be hit really hard with 507 new cases, 285 in Fayette, 86 in Christian, 64 in Kenton, which got hit hit hard yesterday as well, 58 in Warren, 56 in Boone, 47 in Davis, 43 in Jessamine, 41 in Campbell and Hardin, 33 in Carter, Laurel and Shelby, 31 in Pulaski, 30 in Barron, 29 in Monroe, 27 in Nelson and Oldham, 25 in Bullitt and Madison, 24 in Floyd, Franklin and Greenup, 23 in Henderson, 22 cases in Ohio, Rowan and Taylor, 21 in Johnson County, 18 in Callaway, Marshall and McCracken, 16 in Lewis, 15 in Logan, Marion and Woodford, 14 in Hopkins, 13 in Bath, Boyle and Scott, 12 in Casey, Graves, Mason, Mercer, Pike and Whitley, 11 in Adair, Boyd, Lincoln, Montgomery and Wayne, and 10 in Hancock, Hart, McCreary, McLean and Morgan. And I think every other county has at least uh, one case, but I just read the name of just about every county. Uh, that's that's how widespread this surge is. So remember, the more cases we have, the more hospitalizations, the more people in the ICU, the more people on a ventilator, and the more people who don't make it. So today we're announcing 18, 18 uh, new COVID-19 uh, deaths. 18 is is far too many. And it hurts to read 18 names or 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 entries. Today includes a 77-year-old man from Allen County, an 86-year-old woman from Christian, a 66-year-old man from Clay. I believe we've had back-to-back days where we've lost somebody from Clay County. A 75-year-old woman from Clinton, uh, two from Henderson, uh, both 75-year-old men, two from Jefferson, a 96-year-old woman and an 89-year-old woman, a 76-year-old man from Lee, an 80-year-old man from Lincoln, Uh, two men, one 90 and one just 57 years old from McLean County, 78-year-old man from Oldham, Uh, two women from Pike County, a 68-year-old woman and an 86-year-old woman and an 82-year-old man from Pike too, a 70-year-old man from Rockcastle County and a 93-year-old woman from Rockcastle County. 